And we are celebrating WTTV's 70th anniversary, and we're taking a look back at one of the most popular ghouls in Hoosier history, Sammy Terry, both terrified and delighted a generation as the host of Shock Theater. This morning, we have a look at his frightful legacy and how it lives on. <laughs> it's the laugh that lives on in the collective memory of a generation of Hoosiers. Good if you're of a certain age, he needs no explanation. But if you're unfamiliar, just know that Sammy Terry was genuinely frightening sometimes. A fiendish maniac is waiting just for you. The campy ghoul hosted Shock Theater, <laughs> a series of scary old movies that aired on WTTV Channel 4 for 30 years, starting in the 1960s. I am Sammy Terry. Sammy Terry, you know, like cemetery, was the creation of one of Channel 4's first employees. Bob Carter did a bit of everything at the station, but he became famous when he invented his alter ego in just two weeks to meet a sponsor's deadline. As hosted. I knew that he was going to last for a while when the 13-week sponsor contract ran out. That sponsor went bankrupt, and other people picked it up and continued the show. And it's one of the longest running 13 week contracts in the history of television. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy became arguably the most popular personality on Channel 4 with a cast of low tech characters. That's not the way it goes. Like George, the rubber spider dangling from a fishing line just off camera. Sammy became a living legend. I'm very, very thankful for that, that people remember and uh, liked it that well. There's a lot of love. The Sammy Terry. Bob Carter's son, Mark, continues the legacy of Sammy Terry to this day <laughs> with a new dungeon filled with some of the show's old props he saved from being thrown away. They literally were burning everything, all set pieces for all news, Cowboy Bob's Corral, Sammy Terry's dungeon, Janie's um, set up everything was being burnt in order to rebrand it to the new company. And so we were able to grab a few things, which these are the remaining artifacts. Welcome, my scene. He performs in the same makeup on a Facebook live show during the Halloween season for both the old and a new generation of fans. It's that childlike fear, but not scary. Sammy Terry was horror without being horrible. So hide. Bob Carter passed away a few years ago. His son says his dad couldn't have been more different than the character who lives on now on the World Wide Web all these years later. <laughs> a very soft, gentle person. Rarely would you find anyone that had a grievance with him because he really sought peace with everyone. However, in the dead of night, when the moon comes up and the sun goes down, out comes the alter ego, Sam. <laughs>